Uh, pre- um... Oh, sh oh no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's all a scam. You should say that. Feeling it. Like There's a lot to process here and I am not Wait. doing well. Previously, we designed a pretty functioning concept prototype. We added some nice looking synth wave stylish graphics. And uh, on the last episode, we made Spirit and put him in the game. And in doing so, we managed to f our sleep schedule real bad. And it, it's, and we are gonna be seeing the repercussions of that throughout this episode. So get, so, stra so strap in. Now at this point, I kind of had a bit of a realization about the game. Good morning everyone, uh, it's 3pm right now. I went to bed at um, about, it's around 7.30, fell asleep, I, I stayed up until 7.30. Yeah, and I'm so, whoa, let me tell you, my circadian rhythm is just feeling it. It's, it's, it's pretty rock and roll, I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, I got jump scared by my toaster when I was making my toast. Uh, I boiled the kettle like three times because I kept on forgetting if I'd done it or not. So yeah, just all around, I'm feeling great. With all my time to think last night, I had a thought. A thought came to me, like a like a like a cherry blossom leaf drifting on the wind, and it just said. You know, you could probably finish the game if you just like sat down and worked out for a couple of hours. And I saw that thought and I was like... The game's like 90% done. It, and it could be 100% done if I just kind of sat down for a bit and just worked on it. Did the boring stuff, the menus, the... Mostly just the menus. I could finish this thing in like in a day. And then I... And then, I, then, I, then, I, then I'm done. I think I can... I think I can do this. I think I just need a crack down, nose to the no, grindstone, nose to the nose stone. You know me, I'm not really a type of procrastinator. I'm very much, you know, do everything as soon as you can. But I'm, yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work pretty soon. Um, for sure, Just really for sure. Alright, 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 okay, okay. It's time to work. Yeah, I said it, I said it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start. Oh, I'm standing up, oh, I'm gonna turn off the camera. Then we have to do work. No, no, no. So I got to work with a whole bunch of miscellaneous tasks. So I added the game to speed up so it gets faster, gets more intense, like we're on some Chrome dinosaur game shit. I chose the font that, we're gonna, that was gonna be used for the menus. I added a thing to the Caponcho. Uh, called it decimate so that it was a bit more a bit more a bit more a bit more sort of cooler it look it just look at it. it it's just cooler I also added a sort of rough working score and little sort of I guess hit markers that come up when you click call them in they go Boo -boo. well they don't go they don't that's that's in the future arc. sound effects segment is coming but uh, as you can see I didn't quite manage to finish the whole game but there's Still a lot to do. So hi, morning, rainy morning. It's currently, I think, like 10 to 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, I bet you wonder, what is the plan now? And I am too. I am sure I'll come up with something. Being on 2 to 8 is like... Eighteen hours, so I've been awake eighteen hours. I feel so tired. I just want to sleep, man. So what I'm gonna do is very tactically. The way I see it, there are two options. I can stay up, or I could go to sleep. Oh, I don't really know what to do. I think I should just sleep and then get my energy back, really. I don't know, I mean, I could like try to re reset my circadian rhythm, but I'm just gonna end up f***ing it up again anyway. It's all a scam. Waking up in the morning, 
I'm in the morning now, and let me tell you, it's not that great. It's rainy and cold. It smells nice, but that's about it. All right, so uh, I think I'll take my breakfast at two o'clock p.m. over this. I mean, come on. Really? Dumb idiots. Not having it. Wait, I put some chicken tenders in the microwave to defrost. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cook them and eat them, and then probably just crash. So that's what I'm doing. I, I will be productive when I wake up, I swear. I, I promise. And I'll finish the game down. Okay? I'll do- I will. So I'm awake. Bruh. It's like 4 p.m. Uh, um... What did I say I was gonna do? Game? Alright. Let's go, baby. Time to work on the game. I'm ready. I'm open at him. I'm ready to go. This is programming. This is... Alright, this is... Who knows? Who can say? You'll be able to say. I'll be watching the next bit. Because I'm about to get up. I'm about to go. I'm about to... Yeah. Let's go. Now it was at this point that I decided the game needed a bit more meat. We need a bit more... The game needed to be a bit chunkier, you know? Need, needed, the, needed the pork belly. Needed the, needed the cuba sausage. So I, 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 had a, I had a brilliant idea. So I called Tim again. Here's the idea, right? You use the money. You can do vanity things, right? But you use the money to buy things to make you go further so you get more money. And then the loop is like, play the game, get a score, you reinvest, you know? And then it's like some cookie clicker sh you know? Oh, you are not getting recorded, Tim. There you go. Welcome to the recording. <laughs> you were just talking to yourself. I was just talking to myself. Upgrades, what, are, what do they be? Um, slow mode. It goes. What if you had a power up? Like when you use it, you get like 10, and then it goes 20, 30, and then as long as you get enough in a row, it just keeps going up by 10 until you screw up, and then that's the power up use. Could I think that that's too too unvisceral. Unvis unvisceral. Un un like it, it doesn't feel like tangible enough. It just kind yeah, of yeah. feels like. Oh, oh yeah, my score is changing. Do. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. But it's merging. Slow mode, kind of like uh, the. Okay, this game is very loud, and while I love playing it, I don't want it to be so loud. Has built corpse. C O R P S E. Okay, I did get it right. Mr. Um, Moore's corpse. That's one of the zombies in the iron farm. Oh, nice. It's a glass. Oh, add, Where's add, the add. Okay, here's a hack for if I put this in the video. If you're ever playing a mobile game and shit and ads come up, just mute them. It makes it 100% less annoying. It's, yeah. They're just so loud and just like, oh, no, 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 so, uh, yeah, just mute it. Yeah, so you go slow mode, and then every one that's- Oh! So, okay, it is on a timer, but also if you f*** up the combo, it breaks the mode. Oh, yeah, so that's, like, that's doom, good. Doom, 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 doom. And the music would, like, slow down for it as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, t oh. you know what? You're funny you should say that. I put my music in the game, just like the rough music, and there is a slider for pitch, and it is- You can just do it, like, in real time, and it just works. Okay, pretty much what happened is that I wanted a break from development, so I opened up my music software and maybe I just started working on something and then I was like, ah, this is kind of perfect for the game. So then I then I started recording, but I actually wanted to do the music and sound effects way later. So in these next clips, you'll hear that music in game, um, but in future in a future episode, we'll see me the, the sort of making of that music. Also, Unity, like, natively, has a thing for time scale, so you just, like, set that down, and then it's, like, slow, so that's, like, like kind of super easy to do. I don't think there will be any of them in Zen mode. I think in Zen mode it'll just be pure what the game is now, pretty much. Who doesn't want a llama on a s snowboard? Right? Hell and yeah. Yeah. But the- oh, ow, ah. oh, so loud, my goodness. What is this ad? What? <laughs> I love that vacuuming effect. The reverse, like, kick dust effect. What is this? No, she re- Oh, fail! 
damn. Scatter slots challenge now. That's a slots game. It's definitely Hell just yeah. a slots game. Wow, get a consistent brand image. Oh my god. Jesus Wait, Christ. What the f Wait, okay. what? There is a lot to process here and I am not Wait. doing well. So Wait, whatever what? the gameplay we just saw was is clearly bullshit. It was it was like slots, so we thought it was a slots game. We go here, we see it's on some magic sh which uh here's a little fun fact for you. They didn't have slot machines back in medieval ages. Oh there's a wheel, they have amazing graphics. Wow, look at that. Can I see the other images please? Uh hello? No, 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 the image is just the bottom bit oh, why, transparent. Why is that the way that the UI works? Oh, do I just tap? I can't click. I have to, I have to, I have to swipe like that. Doesn't look so organic. We got, uh, Wizard 102. <laughs> yeah. We got Akinator is here too. Is it Dude, I can't believe Akinator was played by Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible music. It is sugar for your ears. Gone. Spirit just gets a gun. What's he do with it? I don't know, but he has a gun. Are you gonna argue with him? He just shoots it straight up. I could have like an auto arrange thing. The five up ahead just automatically snap in place. That could be nice. Actually, yeah, that seems better. Instead of just the platforms going, like it's like a full speed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you get like half points for him. Yeah. Or you get the reg. Uh, you get. I don't know what kind of. I point. guess. I guess it's a power up, so you should get extra points. Uh. But it, it is like, is, is that the point of the power up? Is that you get more points or is it the distance, you know? Is there any advantage getting distance? Oh, because there's the distance multiplier. Coincidentally, this came out just in time. Distance traveled, trick score, yeah. coins collected. Um, yeah, I do think your score should be like that. Because like some power ups would help you with distance more than others. Yeah, okay. It's kind of interesting how I think this is like a necessary part of the game. That I need to think about when it was like the problem that I was having in my earlier ideas for games is that they were too complicated. Shut up, get out of here, I don't want you. Um, was that there was just like too many. What? Yeah. I select a person and then I invade their house and I, I, I tap my, my single finger on, <laughs> on various objects. And that's, that's a game. Yeah, I need to think about menu layout too. Uh, how do menu? That's the question on everyone. Let's do design 101. So I figured out the, what he's gonna look like on the menu screen. He's gonna be just kind of chilling out, you know? Just like oh, straight, yeah. straight chilling. Just, just straight vibing. And then you hit play and he jumps up like, oh, we're going. And then, yeah. I like that. I have title. I don't know what I was gonna call it. I was gonna call it the edge of the world, but I think that's a little dramatic. I was. I also came up with. Um, oh nice, the comic sense is really selling it. Venture. Venture. You know. You know. Oh like, yeah. That's an. That's a word. There we go. That's pretty sick. It, look, it looks really good in that font, actually. You know, you got the inexplicable cherry blossoms. You got. I should just use the line tool, shouldn't I? Do it. My law. And so, then I think we have settings. I like your, your idea a lot more, but I'm still g gonna send you what I thought you were gonna do. Okay. I thought you were gonna have him like a lot bigger, mm -hmm. right? And then so he was like vibing there and then like vibe to go the different mode and then you tap on him and it would like zoom out. Right. And so, so like he would, would, would be the main focus, just doing like he would like lean against the edge of the screen and sh Right. Or like walk off and come back in and stuff. So you want me to make Death Stranding? Oh, sh yeah. <laughs> but to do but I like no. But eyes. the moment you said that he was small and just chilling, I'm like, oh, I yeah. like that. So settings and then um. Okay, hold up. You ready for this? Ready for my work of art? Uh, I'm above. People are always squishy. Okay. Football. Football. It looks like a head. Yeah. It's a, 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 that is a man. That is shoulder right there. Is that the capuncho happening now? Man, this guy is. <laughs> what the? What is going? Oh, oh no no no! Wait, is this? This looks like it looked like a head for a second. No, that's an arm. Oh, big weld. <laughs> oh, what is? What is? This is a person on a phone just chilling. Not quite. Okay, they're not thick anymore, but they're, they're sitting cross-legged, disproportionate head. That I'm not gonna. Mm, they are. They are zen. That's right. They're, they're zen. Oh. 
You got it. Okay, that looks so no, beautiful. No. Okay, no. I need to thicken these, this full up. I think you almost need something more simple than a complicated character like that for Zen, though. Let me just make my vision, Tim, okay? Okay, perfect, perfect, so good, so good and so sweet. That's, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I will see, I will look up and see what the internet has to think. Ooh, the stacked rocks? Or the... Oh, yes. I, I was thinking like Lotus. I kind of just like the meditating one, front, really. Like, this can also just be like a piece of shit. <laughs> But like, you know, the, the cross-legged is pretty un unmistakable. Oh, and I also need to put the shop in somewhere too. What's a sh shop icon? It's just a house with like awnings, isn't it? Yeah, oh, look at that. That's exactly what yeah. I said. Yeah. That's, that's what a shop is. Yeah. This text yeah. is pixelated and it's a menu mm -hmm. icon. So these icons pixel art. Genius. Nice. Yeah. Shop. Shop is here. Perfect. So good. I do love them flat cupcakes. It's a potted plant. Killed with a hedge trimmer, bro. Yeah. What uh, What else? Do I want to fill up all four corners? Is that going to look weirdly square? There was one way to find out. I got to work designing these menus, and can I just say, UI design is like surprisingly hard. Like, it's, it's weird. It's like, where do you put things? Where do you, huh? Huh? Bruh, I didn't drop out for this. <laughs> Also, I figured that we didn't want just sort of white oblivion squares um, as buttons. So I went ahead and designed some of those pixel art icons that I mentioned earlier. So I stayed up another night working on menu functionality and a better column algorithm, and that went great. Also, to help me with game deving, I added a thing called autoplay so that the game would just sort of play itself and I could just sort of see what the columns are doing. And this, with a couple of changes, actually ended up becoming the boost power up that I mentioned earlier. And so then we had another very, very tired morning. Now I could have just kept on, you know, going to sleep at uh, in the morning and waking up in the late afternoon. I guess I could have just kept on doing that, but it was sort of making me feel like a garbage human being. I decided that I wanted to try reset it. So this time I was gonna, I had stayed up till the morning and I was going to, um, I was gonna stay up all through the day. So yeah, I, I was feeling real tired. I, I woke up, if we're being generous, like six o'clock p.m. yesterday, and it's currently half past eleven the next day. So I've been awake for, I mean, only like about eighteen hours. But like, if I had woken, if like I had been, if if that was, if it was, if I were to wake up at eight o'clock, what I'm feeling right now is like a. It's like midnight. Oh, did I f*** up my math? Hold up. I said 16 hours, right? I mean, only like about 18 hours. No, I meant 18 hours. It's been 18 hours. 18 hours. So if it was... 8... Then it would be... 2 o'clock in the morning. So, if you, work, if you wake up at 8... Stay up till uh, two o'clock in the morning, and that's how I'm feeling right now. This uh, that's how this king is living. That was dumb. That was, I'm not. I'm not funny, but I know. I've gonna lay down in that bed. I, I turn my phone alarm on, my alarm clock on, but I I I lay I, I lay down in that bed. I lay foot in. I lay butt in that bed. 
and it's over. I'm already waking up at 7 p.m. Before I'm even in that bed, it's just the thought of like going into the bed. Like once I say, okay, I'm gonna do that, bam. 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. I've woken up. I go downstairs, my food, my dinner's there, cold. So I, I just gotta pa- I just gotta power through. I gotta power through. And then guess what? Tonight, yeah, my sleep is gonna be f- set, you see. It's gonna be so steamy hot. It'll be crazy. Everyone will be like... I'll be alone, probably, actually. I would hope. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just play Skyrim for, like, six hours. It's not a week, I was just yawning my involuntarily closed. Then I get so excited, okay. Hey, steady on that, alright. I had a coffee, I had this. I've had two cups of tea. I went for a real lovely walk. Wow, that was such a lovely walk. Here are photos of that I got on that I took on the walk of where I was walking. It was nice. My face is blown out. That's cool. That's cool. This is this is upcoming YouTube in my lot right here. This is the quality you get. The quality that people deserve. Maybe maybe your beat will be able to do it. Maybe I just need some your beat. You know, some of that shit that'll get me going. Lord knows, I am not going right now. I am, I'm at a, I'm at a dead stop. I'm. S- and you know, eventually, I did actually get my sleep schedule more in check. The next thing to work on was that spirit sitting animation. So I got to work on that. And while this plays, I'm just gonna ramble. So uh, just just sit back and, and we'll chill for a moment. So why did I think that I would be able to finish the game in, in one night? Well, in the first two episodes, I had made a lot of progress. I had gone from absolutely nothing to this quite nice looking game with a cool character. And it seemed like the majority of the work was done. The thing is though, what I had gotten done was easy for me. While game design was a hobby during high school, I never actually finished a game. This was gonna be my first released game. So despite how many different game projects types I had major in high school, I never actually had to do the difficult finishing steps, the menus and the polish and tutorials and stuff like that. And so when it came to those things, I was really inexperienced. In fact, for this project, I had to learn a lot. And so I naively went in thinking, ah yes, menus, tutorials, power-ups, how hard can it all be? And it turns out very, because I, I didn't really know too much about how to do it. Sure, having experience in Unity certainly helped, but there were still a lot of challenges I had to face as I tried to do these new things. And so as doing these final steps was taking longer and longer, it really demotivated me. I, I had gone from thinking, oh, this game will take a week, to, oh, I guess it's going to take a month, to, oh, this... This game still isn't done, it still isn't out. And so there was a real mental battle I had to face as this game was taking longer and longer to get done, especially because I was the only person working on it, and so any slowness in production was entirely on me. Now eventually I did finish the game and that's why this series is out and why you're seeing this, but uh, not only did I have to learn a lot about, you know, knowledge about Unity and stuff like that, I had to learn a lot about myself to try and learn how to stay strong even through things like this. I mean, I, I, I didn't really have a choice. I had kind of put all my eggs in this basket, but um, still, yeah, I, I, I learned a lot, all right? I call, call it cheesy, but you know, yeah, at the end of the day, the spirit was in me all along. <laughs> okay, back to the start animation. I also accidentally uh, turned it into a horror game. So that was fun. And so after a couple of tweaks, the start animation was done. I'm loose and your mum. What did you say just then, bro? You say I'm loose and your mum. Moose is in your mum, no matter what you try. I said I'm loose and your mum, but moose can be better. I haven't I heard moose in, I don't know. I Emma wouldn't know. Moose these days. Where is moose these days? So I was working on the shop. Hey, how's that coming? It's going all right. I found out a really one weird trick that game developers don't want you to know. Oh, he's now just like chilling in the start. He's just kind of sitting down. Yeah, that's and, cool. That's really cool like that. And then you hit play and he like, he jumps up and then, up. And then 
it's game time. Uh, nice. Death still doesn't really work. It just kind of goes, you died, and then you just get nine, 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 nine. Oh yeah, that's score. pretty cool. You can hit back, and then it'll launch you straight into the game. Uh, or if you die and you hit home, it'll take you back home. The game's always completed. Yeah. You just yeah, gotta fix a couple done. more things. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do music sound oh, design. I, I gotta do the shop, and I gotta yeah. I gotta save the high score and like the things that you've bought between yep. game sessions. But yeah, yeah, I mean like the bulk of it is done. And I, also, doing... I gotta do my power all the power ups, which is a little tricky. I don't know exactly oh, how yeah. I'm doing them yet, but um, yeah, so I, I need to do them. The mu yeah, you gotta get that music going. Yeah, <laughs> I do have a bit of music in the game already. <laughs> they're, all oh, yeah. they're all salty fuck. Damn. They're all bots, dude. I like that. I found out something pretty cool, though, which is that... I can do this. No, the repairs. Oh. Damn. You can also do this, ready? <laughs> what the f***? Oh, I can play yeah. the game, dude. The Dylan. That's very... Yeah. That's very can good. I see his sitting oh. animation at the start? Sure. I wanna see it. That's fancy. I like that. So, it's so cool. Just chill in the back. Wait, uh, There's that sh Gotta get to work. Oh, hell yeah. You can see he's like slightly nodding his head. Oh, it actually yeah. goes pretty well with the music at this pitch. And then you play and it's like, whoop. Oh yeah, that's I had pretty to, good. Uh, I had to do that flashing. So cool. I had to do that flashing to disguise the change from the animation to the actual physics body. Um, oh yeah, because it's like mm -hmm. slightly yeah. different. I couldn't quite get it to be seamless. So nice. Gonna, yeah, it's the little thing. Well, you know? you win okay. some and then it was power ups time. So the two power ups I was going to be making were boost and focus. Boost would boost you forward and automatically lock in columns for you and focus would slow down time and let you get combos. To implement boost I reworked the autoplay feature that I made earlier in the video and for the focus I just set the speed of time to be proportionate to how close the two columns were together, i.e. the better a time it is to click the slower time goes. In the developmental stages I would just hit a button and the thing would work but you know obviously you can't just have it like that. So once I had the functionality down I went ahead and modeled the uh, power-up icons. Then I got them spawning. And then I got them to trigger the actual effect of the power-ups. And so we were left with... So now our game was functioning, had decent graphics, it had a bit more meat to it because, you know, we had power-ups that you could now get and, um, you know, generally everything was going really well. Um, so at the time, I was I was taking Fiverr commissions for music production. You remember, remember, um, can we, can we get a flashback to the first? Yeah, I worked on a song and released that and that went... Pretty much I would just, you could just give me a song and I would make a kind of original song in the same sort of style so that you could use it on YouTube. That was sort of my, that was my five gig. It was just a little thing on the side to get me a little extra money. It was just every now and then I got a, got a gig and did it. Um, kind of cute. Then this one commission came in. I imagine that most people watching this probably are familiar with League of Legends. As promotion for the game, Riot had actually produced Two, two tracks, two, two music songs. They, they were a little popular. They were pretty cool. So this client that I got wanted me to do that. They wanted me to make a song that mimicked those Riot songs that probably like teams of dozens were working on. He, he wanted me to do that. Now I, I could have, look, I could have said no. I could have given back you know like a reasonable sort of approximation of it I could have 
done anything else, but instead I decided to sweat the fuck out of this commission. So I, I, I then proceeded to spend three weeks uh, making this. Competition is more like an exhibition. The display of your extinction is this way to your mortician. In those three weeks I wasn't really working on the game a lot and if I was working on it I didn't really record a lot so there is a bit of a time skip between this episode and the next episode which is coming out in two days hit the subscribe button so you can see it when it comes out so um, when you come back at the start of next episode there's gonna be a whole bunch more progress already done bright side bright side it's not like I am terrible at time management it's that I just wanted you to I Um, here's the preview. Now all I had was left to do was the tutorial, and then the gameplay would be done. What well, sound is that you're gonna be when you talk, Bastion? Pretty banana. Uh, is it gonna be read out? It's gonna be. Or just Bastion? It's gonna be Bastion. I can't wait to get my little hands on this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive, bro. Yeah, I don't know how. Frick. Yes, this is a sock. It's a sock on my mic. In, in case you were wondering. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this one was sort of a bit more miscellaneous, a bit less sort of directional, a bit bit, bit of a weirder episode, but um, I appreciate you uh, coming to watch it and um, if you're enjoying the sort of progress of the game. The next one's, I do get a lot done in the time skip. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, the next one's, next one I get a, I get, I get a good amount of stuff done. So, so yeah, I, I, thanks, thanks for watching, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for, um, yeah, uh, thank you. I suck at this. Oh, why did it, why did I why did why did my how did my life get here? What am I doing? What am I doing? Just you try.